I guarantee at the time when we first started this, nobody ever envisioned that it would end up the way it did as far as the level of effort that went into it. So I-69, that's, um, you know, that's probably the legacy project for Lock Miller Group. In fact, I've told a number of people that this company was built on the back of that project. So it was really kind of neat because you don't get to put in a brand new interstate on a new train, you know, so it was really a unique project for Indiana, let alone any other state. The interstate system was done back in the, you know, the 50s, 60s, and 70s, and all that infrastructure has been in place for a long time. Quite frankly, coming from Evansville, you know, before I-69 was completed, we could drive to two other state capitals faster than we could get to our own state capital, and today, you know, that's not the case. We're connected, and it's uh, significant for our commerce in the region, and obviously all, all those that that live in this area for sure notice that this region certainly has benefited from it and will continue to for years to come. So one of the things about the, the public involvement with I-69 was just the amount of people that we coordinated with, really getting to know what was important to people and what we needed to know about their communities, and it was really gratifying. You know, there was different aspects with this project that you know you don't get to see very often. We actually got to put in a critter crossing. That was a box structure. They looked and see where critters were crossing at certain locations, and they basically put a box structure there to help them cross over I-69 without going over I-69. Being able to orchestrate it all and, and uh, provide the oversight that was needed for not just us, but for all the other firms that were involved in it, um, that was something I had never really ever had to tackle on that scale before. And to keep it going for close to 15 years now, I suspect. I oversaw a lot of the environmental aspects of the project and was actually in the field for close to five years, inspecting the road sediment control items and working alongside Ronnie Bain from IDEM and worked closely with Ronnie on the project and learned new insights in erosion sediment control that we still incorporate today in our everyday life and have incorporated into our engineering practices. I knew that the groundbreaking was gonna be really special. We had planned for all of this heavy equipment to be there, and I thought, oh my gosh, my 18-month-old Cooper would be so excited to see this equipment up close. So I decided to take him with me to the groundbreaking. And at the end of it, um, Mitch Daniels, the governor at the time, picks Cooper up, and we have this awesome picture of the two of them. Um, and we always laugh because, you know, Cooper was on uh, Mitch Daniel's Christmas card list and it was always came to him and addressed to him um, every single year so it was kind of a cute little thing that we had that moment in his baby book at the groundbreaking well Cooper is now 17 and a high school senior and he's uh, preparing for what he hopes to be um, college at IU and to think that he has this very safe road to take from Evansville to Bloomington and back makes me as a mom feel really great. We've got probably 30 years of effort that we've put into that project alone. And Keith had a you know big influence on all of us, you know, his passion for the project and his leadership on it. For the last section up around 465, we had three governors there, two Two previous governors and the standing governor of Indiana all make comments about Keith and what a significant role he played in that corridor. Former Governor Daniels, you have former Governor Pence and vi former Vice President Pence, uh, you have Governor Holcomb, and then to hear them say, Keith, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. It was so meaningful that um, a person like Keith would be tied to something that's going to change lives forever. It made me proud to think that I just happened to be able to get to be a part of this. So that, that was pretty powerful. Probably the most important thing that I saw out of it is not the legacy for us. It is hundreds or maybe even thousands of lives that was being saved by this facility versus taking the state roads that were very dangerous. So I look at that as the most important thing, a major facility coming in that was replacing very dangerous travel on local state roads. Yeah, it's a major undertaking that's, uh, it's honestly 
unbelievable to see and actually having seen it uh, on the ground and the significance of the construction. This was the largest design bid build package contract that NDOT has ever led. I'm just glad that we delivered it on time and under budget. It's constructed now, so I mean, that's that's the greatest experience of all, is actually being able to drive it. It's just so cool that after all of these years and all of this hard work, the ideas that we had and we presented to the public are now something that we can go drive on. I actually see it, I drive it, and I use it constantly, so it's really, it's really unique that way. It's been a significant contribution to the state, but clearly it's been a really big and important part of the history of Lock Miller Group because it's it's been such a key component to what we've been able to build our staff and our business on. It's the kind of project that we want to be able to look back at and say that, you know, Lock Miller Group and I-69, they're, they're synonymous with one another and it's the kind of thing that we want as part of our legacy. To know that Lock Miller, in at least in the state of Indiana, is kind of synonymous with I-69 um, that's pretty powerful and I honestly believe if you ask people that have been involved from the Indiana standpoint whether it's local or state officials national if you ask them about Lock Mueller and you say what's the one thing that you think of they say there's something different about Lock Mueller and that's pretty special <laughs>